The overall goal of the following procedure is to rapidly assay microbial extracellular enzyme activity in a variety of natural environments. This is achieved by adding samples of water or soil slurries to microplates to yield adequate replication. As a second step, artificial colorimetric or fluorometric substrate is added to the microplate wells, which allows for enzymatic reactions to occur. Next, either absorbance or fluorescence is measured in order to determine the amount of end product released during the reaction. The results show differences in extracellular enzyme activity between samples based on the absorbance or fluorescence of the final reaction. Today we're going to demonstrate how to measure extracellular enzyme activity in natural environments. This method can help answer key questions in microbial ecology, such as what are rates of organic matter processing and nutrient mineralization in soils, sediments, and waters. Generally, individuals new to using this method will struggle because of difficulty in separating particles from the reaction solution, especially when assaying large numbers of samples. A visual demonstration of this procedure is critical as the plate layout can be difficult to learn and taking measurements at multiple time steps can make this procedure more challenging. Colorimetric analysis of extracellular enzyme activity for soils and sediments begins with preparation of substrate, buffer, and standard solutions as described in the text protocol. For soil, Prepare a slurry of each sample to be assayed in a sterile 15 milliliter centrifuge tube.